Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to attempt to tackle the question, how good is Cosette really? Um, the best way that I would like to do this is to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of Cosette doing something and another DPS, like for example, Miss Velvet doing something. Unfortunately, I can't do that side-by-side -side comparison. And the reason I cannot do that is because I've already invested um, level 15 into Cosette's potential, but the other main DPSs like Miss Velvet or Dellens, uh, wherever he is, they are not at um, at level 15. So I will not be able to really give you a good comparison. And, you know, between level 12 and level 15 is a huge difference. It's like 300, actually it's more, about 400 points in attack difference, right? So it's, it's pretty significant. So uh, because of that, I can't really show you um, exactly what it looks like. And also, I mean, their defense and HP is also lacking quite a bit as well. So because of that, since I can't show you a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm gonna show you how I'm using my Cosette. I'm gonna show you the potential. I'm gonna show you the equipment, the uh, codex and everything that I have. And then I'm gonna show you what Cosette can do by herself, you know, with this setup. And then whichever, you know, unit that you have, you probably should be investing in the unit that you have because it's, uh, you don't know when you're gonna get Cosette. If you would get Cosette, like, you know, in three, three months or so on. And you can't just be waiting for you know, to get her, right? You have to use whatever you have. That might be Miss Velvet, that might be Dellens, but it should be some kind of um, really high attack DPS. So uh, whatever it is, you can compare and see, hey, if uh, if I can do this with Cassette, can you achieve a, you know, a similar output? Maybe you are down by like 20%. Maybe your attack is, you know, below by 20%. And if it is, then maybe that's enough, right? Like maybe you don't need to rush her. Maybe you're okay with being like minus 20% in attack and, you know, um, uh, it, focusing on a different L plus instead. Uh, so I, I'll leave the decision to you. I'm just here to show you what Cosette can do. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you the setup that I'm using. Um, I am using, this is the pet that I'm using, Casper, because I, I feel like Casper is, uh, you know, a, a lot of people have access to Casper. If I use one of the legendary pets, you might not have access to it, so you can't really do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. The equipment that I'm using, um, is this so i have a full uh you know crit set on her um i have plus 10 on all her gears and then for the weapon i have plus 20. nothing here is a radiant weapon um everything is you know uh just the standard legendary version but everything is a plus five transcend so you have to keep that in mind i would i was trying to do one with like a, a less transcend but i i just don't have one so i can't do it this is what i have and that this is what i'm going to use to show you um for the accessories, I'm using two pieces of Avalanche set and one piece of Salos necklace. Um, I mean, I have better stuff I could use, but again, like I'm just trying to make this as comparable as possible. If you are able to get your DPS to this stage, uh, which you probably could get w once you are able to comfortably do the hard uh, exploration stages, you're able to start farming accessories faster. Like I didn't pull any of these accessories from the equipment. I crafted them and I got them as drops from exploration. So once you're at that stage, hopefully you're actually not too far off from being able to, you know, get this setup, like having a, pl a full legendary setup like this um, and have them all uh, transcend, sorry, and maybe transcend like two, three, four or something. Uh, but yeah, at least being able to get the weapon to plus 20 and the armor pieces to plus 10. So without further ado, I'm going to just show you what I'm able to accomplish here. I'm going to try the dungeons. I know for sure she can do the soul stone and the rune temple. I'm just going to show you. Um, and I, as I said, I'm using Casper and I'm using you know her. Uh, and um, yeah, so after you do the rune temple and the soul stone, I'm going to try the elixir as well. I'm not sure if she's able to do it or not. Uh, one thing that you should notice with Cosette and the other DPS is that she actually gets a huge amount of damage just from her huge range. So she doesn't really need to move much to get out of people's AoEs. And you'll see that, um, especially when I tackle the rune dungeon, that she's very easily able to just keep doing DPS by just moving just a little bit because her range is like so much higher than anyone else's range. And that really adds up to a lot of damage over time. But as you can see, like she's able to uh, deal quite a lot of damage like the boss is already down this is t10 that i'm tackling um and yeah she has like no trouble doing this at all i think she hits uh, I, I didn't catch the amount of damage her um her ultimate does but I'm, i think it's close to 1 million uh so anyway that's soul stone i'm going to do the rune temple now 
And then I'm going to attempt the Elixir one. I'm not sure if you can actually solo the Elixir one or not, but we're going to try it anyway. And then I can also do the experience one as well. Again, I'm not sure if she can solo it, but but we'll try. So in this one, um, she does take uh, a lot more damage. I think I might even have to use the pet heal to keep her, you know, to have her survive. Um, and I do have to dodge the, you know, that, uh, that AOE, that, that slow casting AOE, because that'll deal a lot of damage to her, this one. But as you can see, I only need to move a little bit away. Uh, and I feel like that actually adds a lot of um, DPS to her. Whereas with somebody else, I have to actually, um, you know, move further along. And that, you know, that drastically lowers the damage potential that I do. That's that. I, that's what I found. Anyway, so I found that she did like 1.1 something damage to, to the boss. Um, you know, I don't know why she decided to target that crystal, but anyway, that's all right. Um, so yeah, I mean, this one is almost dead as well. I have just less than 25% of HP on the boss left. Uh, I'll probably need to use a heal though, because I'm doing less damage now. Okay, I'm just going to use the heal now. Okay. And with that skill shot, he should hopefully be dead. Yes, he was dead. Okay, perfect. So um, so that's two two dungeons at T10 down. I'm going to do the experience one next, I think. And then I will try the elixir one. So I, haven't, I, I knew for sure I could do the soul stone and the rune temple because I tried it before. I'm not sure if I can do the experience run. I, I'm assuming I can, but we will see. So in this one, she actually has to move over a little bit closer to the boss, even if she's at range, because that's what this boss does. He, um, yeah. So I have to have to do that. If I was even further, I might not have been able to make that. So we'll see. Okay. So did I? Yeah, I, I died, <laughs> because I. So that's what I mean. Like I wasn't in time to. Uh, to kill that, uh, I had to move closer. Otherwise, that I will get caught in that crazy uh, large AOE. For this boss, melee units are typically better anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, with, with enough practice, I could probably do it. Like by by knowing the attack patterns. Anyway, that wasn't too important. I hope. <laughs> um, okay, so let's try this one. Let's see if she can do this one with uh, you know just her and able to solo this or not. Let's try. So there's four monsters here. Congrats to June for uh, for getting that radiant weapon, or was it a radiant armor piece? I'm not sure. All right, so let's see. Um, so this one is almost down. Okay. All right, number two is down. Uh, like the the problem with like moving back to avoid the skill so shots is is that she will lose DPS. So if it's something like that, which has a long cast time, I don't mind moving back a little bit, right? But like something like this, um, just moving back is a bit like it's just you're losing damage, right? So uh, you have to be wary. Like if I'm trying to do this on time, okay. So only one more left, and hopefully that um, ultimate that she has wipes this one out. Okay, didn't kill him, but he hopefully has just a little bit HP left. All right, so there we go. So she was able to do three of them. I could probably do the, the experience one as well with a little bit of practice, um, but I hope it gives you an idea of, of how strong she is, um, you know, the damage potential that she can reach. I'm not sure if uh, like Delins or Miss Velvet can reach, uh, you know, this this level of damage output, you know, being able to solo these. Um, with with what I showed you, like, you know, plus 15 potential, plus 20 weapon. Um, and she's only level 36, so she has a huge way to go still, right? She's only, um, you know, level 36. And, uh, like, I don't know, I really wish I, I had enough potential to get her up to, like, 15, and then I can show you the difference in damage between her and Cosette. But if, you know, she's she's lacking so much damage without that, right? So... It's going. It's not going to be an apples to apple comparison, like obviously because it's going to do so much more damage just because she has level fifteen attack potential. So I can't show you that 
difference here. But you know, hopefully this can give you an idea of how strong Cosette is and see if it's something that you want to invest in. Um, if the difference is not as much as you think, like if you think that you know with Miss Velvet you can still deal say 80% of Cosette's damage or 90% of her damage or whatever, and you feel like that difference is okay, that you don't want to get Cosette, you're going to instead focus on a different um, Legendary Plus unit, like for example, the Legendary Plus Rudy or one of the upcoming ones or something. Like I, I, I'm trying to, sh give you an idea of the difference you know at, at least I'm, I'm trying to at least show you how how powerful Cosette is so you can make the decision if you want to get her or not um so that's that's my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have other questions or comments i hope you uh you know leave a message and i'll do my best to respond to you and i will see you guys next time so i forgot to show you the codex buff that i have when um I, I just did that, so I'm recording now to just show you the level of where my codex is, so you can also account for that. Like, if your codex is not where it is, you have to make the, you know, you have to make the difference in your head, right? Like, the reason that I'm doing so much more damage is because I have, say, like, 1,222 attack. If you have, like, 600 attack, then obviously you're going to do a lot less damage. But um, this is uh, this is where my codex stats are at, and... Um, you know, I, I just wanted to show this part off as well so that you can make a more informed decision and not that, so that you know a lot of her attack is also coming from the codex and not just, you know, Cosette itself. So anyway, that that's it for me for now. Um, see you guys next time.